All right, what's up YouTube? Today we're talking about helmet setups. <clears throat> now the first question you need to ask is, do you need a helmet? The first way to answer this question is ask yourself another question. Do you have night vision? Then the answer is yes, okay? Um, they make skull crushers, uh, stuff like that. They suck, it's not a good way to carry it. Get yourself a real helmet. Next question you need to ask yourself is, do you need ballistic protection? Um, in my personal opinion, if you're buying a helmet, get something with ballistic protection. There's no reason to be running around with a bump helmet. Is it going to stop rifle rounds? Technically, no. It's not. But is it going to stop pistol rounds? Sure. What's the odds of you getting shot in a pistol if we're talking about fighting a modern military? Pretty fucking low. Is it also going to stop shrapnel? Absolutely. Other reasons go with ballistic. Counterweight. Counterweight to your night vision. We'll get into this in a little bit. But those are the questions you need to ask yourself when it comes to buying a helmet. My personal opinion, if you're buying a helmet, it needs to be a ballistic helmet. Just get a ballistic helmet. Shit, you can get, this is a ballistic armor co. I think it was 400 bucks when I got it. <clears throat> sure, it's not NIJ rated, but you can find dozens of videos of it getting shot and <clears throat> withstanding NIJ rating uh, <clears throat> munitions. Um, you can get this for the price of some expensive bump helmets. So, take it for what it's worth. You can get a cheap ballistic helmet or you can get an expensive bump helmet. Just get a ballistic helmet. You can also get used helmets. Do you need a fucking high cut helmet? No, you don't. You can get a Mitch 2000 or just an ACH, a used ACH for probably under 200 Actually, I know for under $200. Granted, it's used. It's going to be sweaty. You're going to need to change out the helmet pads because they're going to be fucking covered in sweat. But you're saving money. And that is NIJ rated. That's another route you could take. Uh, it's the route I wish I would have taken, but I didn't. And nonetheless, here we are. I'm not buying another helmet. All right, now let's get into the actual helmet setup. Like I said, mine is for carrying night vision. That's the only reason I have a helmet. Um, <clears throat> I just use the Rhino Mountain J arm, okay? You see, every the rage nowadays is the G24s and all that. You don't need it. It's too expensive. Get rid of it. So, personal identification, got the IR flag. Um, first thing you need to do when you get your helmet is put it on. Put it on your fucking noggin. Put the chin strap on and adjust it. Um, <clears throat> adjust these straps. Adjust your straps underneath here. You need to be able to talk, yell, all that stuff. Okay? That's what you need to do. You need to put it on and you need to adjust it. You should be able to talk. You should be able to eat with it on. Okay? <clears throat> so that's the first thing. This one has a... Uh, harness in it to adjust it I have mine set to pretty much where it's touching right here that's how I can know it it's uh, <clears throat> it's set up for me all right now into some of the stuff on the helmet uh, first thing counterbalance all right this is also a great place to store spare batteries there is seven double A's in there that's more than I should ever need for my one PBS 14 um, so counterbalance. There's also lead weights in here. So some way to offset the uh, night vision, which we'll get into in a second. This is something I didn't use in the military. Um, just didn't have a need. <clears throat> they have, so this is the uh, TMVC Mohawk. They have these sh little um, <clears throat> bungees up here. Don't use them, okay? Your shit's going to fall out. Ask me how I know. Um, I've lost several CR123s and double A's from trying to put them up here. Same thing down here. I don't even know what this is good for except for comms routing or some type of cable management if you're running um, dual tubes or something that requires a backpack or a pack back here. But yeah, um, as you can see, I got this thing pretty full with between the lead and the uh, batteries. I've never had this come off of here. I have had this Velcro rip off, um, but that just says something to Ballistic Armor Co's uh, uh, quality management when it comes to putting their velcro on all right signaling <clears throat> so i have a v light these are both ir there is no daytime um capabilities but these are both ir this is a v light this is pretty cheap um these are like one and done though uh this one actually tells you when it's on so when you screw when you uh hit the button it's going to send a vibration so you know that it's on and you know that it's uh working you know that the beacon's going and that's good because when this the beacon goes off this vibrates so it tells you okay my beacon's on if you needed to turn it off 
you're turning it off until you don't feel that vibration anymore. So that's one good thing about these, one of these uh, SNS, SNS Precision B lights. So you need a way to signal. Uh, you need some type of recognition. I got three on here. Um, I got the flag, and then I got the, v, uh, the SNS Precision is the primary, and the V light is an alternate. The V light also has a uh, permanent on. It's incredibly bright. Uh, other things you can do: MS2000 strobes. Um, uh, the video I just did covered the uh, nine volt IR beacons. Those are crazy bright. They're brighter than both these, and they're like nine dollars. You need a nine volt battery. And this nine dollar beacon you could lash it underneath here and it would work great granted you need to tighten this down but yeah all right now let's talk about um the night vision so i run a white film pvs 14 with the j arm now <clears throat> the biggest thing about your night vision is tying it down you have to tie your shit down guys or you're gonna lose it okay you just you have to tie your stuff down. I have never been in any unit or organization that didn't allow people to tie down their night vision. It's uh, it's crazy. You do have these bungees right here that you could use. Um, for PVS-14, they're junk. I wouldn't recommend them all. These are more for dual tubes. You can put them on each side. They work a lot better. But uh, for PVS-14, they don't work good. Something that I am experimenting with that I like so far is using these clips that come on the side so here's one not being utilized but yeah so using this clip see if I can do this on camera bam drop test now the only thing with this is, is uh, you're still going to have a, uh, you're still going to need some type of S S clip or carabiner to um, dummy cord this to your kit. Um, I haven't found anything to where you can find a small little, uh, basically female end for these, for these arc rails that you could put on a kit. Um, if anybody out there knows of anything, let me know. But yeah, that's how I tie my nods down. 100% that is the big thing for helmets is being able to secure your nods. Uh, the other thing, this is kind of getting more into night vision and less, uh, less helmet setup, but you need some type of day cap, especially if you're going to be one of these fools running around with your night vision on in the middle of the fucking day, you need a day cap. Yeah, that pretty much covers it for helmet helmets. Um, you can take this a couple different routes. Some stuff I don't have on here that, uh, a lot of people would recommend, I don't think it's quite necessary, is uh, a light. I don't have a helmet light on. I've uh, never used a helmet light. I don't think they're effective. The light's like over here. You can get those ones that bend or you can bloom. But if I'm looking at blooming and throwing IR inside a building, I can just turn this on. And it's really bright. And it'll stay on and it'll bloom out. So yeah, that is my helmet setup. Let me know what you guys... One thing I didn't go over. Comms. Okay, um, you don't need fucking arc rails to connect your comms to here. You don't need that. These are Peltor Comtax. What are these? Threes, fours? I think they're fours. Anyway, uh, they're uh, dual dual comms. Okay, I they're just the ones I have. I don't need dual comms anymore. If you don't know why you would need dual comms, uh, you don't need them. Okay, nor do you need Peltor Comtax. But this fits well underneath here. With this on, it doesn't give me a headache, okay? Everybody who's telling you this shit just hasn't worn their stuff long enough to get used to it. That's all it is. You'll be fine. Just wear it. But yeah, comms. Comms is a big one. Um, you can spend the money to get arc rails. I guess in the grand scheme of buying Peltors, arc rails aren't that much more. But I feel like it's un un unnecessary money, especially when uh, I don't know how much I'll be wearing a helmet anyways. Alright guys, until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye.